got my wisdom teeth out two days ago, but that's not stopping us from going fishing. Let's go. Okay, so we're at the creek, but as you can see through there, a pretty big storm is coming. Creek's down there. I'm gonna get my rod, I got the GoPro on, and we're gonna get down there and see how many we can catch before we get blown out. Okay, so walking down to the creek, never fished this part of it actually, so I have no idea if it's good or not. I assume it's good, Hopefully, maybe. What you're looking for in these small creeks is the deeper holes in the spots. See, the, like all this, this is fairly shallow. So I'm gonna keep on walking up. But what's ideal is those little bit deeper holes where the smallmouth will live. And generally they like some current with it. There's one, that didn't take long. Wow. First fish in the new spot, nothing big, but it's a little smally, you know what I'm saying? Wow. They're just like I said, in that deeper spot, just using a little tube, a little small mouth right there. See you, dude. The bad part is I don't know whether to go downstream or upstream. You know, preferably you wanna go upstream, but I don't know whether to go downstream either just because I just wanna fish the deepest spots so that's where those fish are like that fish he was on the left side as you can see this side's shallow this side's deep he was sitting in that channel in the deeper side i'm surprised i caught him that quick it's just because i threw the old tube out there that's all it was look at this carp look at that carp right there ready ready see it see it see it see it look at him go whoosh everything is telling me to put on that rico but I'm still fishing the tube. Oh, I just missed one. I just had one on. Okay, well, if this breaks off, we're gonna put the Rico on right now. Yeah. Okay, Rico time. This particular one is about 25 ba dollars, which is overkill for some creek smallies, but Hey, we're in a time crunch, so let's go. Popper the time, let's go. I've actually really never fished a popper in a creek, and I know it slays. Maybe a little bit, not much though. So. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, holy cow, holy cow, dude, he smoked it. He smoked it, and it's a big one. Oh my gosh, he freaking clobbered it. Oh my gosh. What was that, my third cast? Oh my gosh, that's a nice fish. He freaking smoked it. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm fishing a pop the rest of the night. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. Wow, he smoked it. Look at that right there, okay. Okay, I see where you're going. So the big smallie fell for the smallie colored Rico. So that was a cool bite. He freaking clobbered it. I mean, that's a nice two pounder. See you, girl. Wow, that was cool. That was really cool. Like, oh, I just had, got him. Got another one. This one ain't bad. Another one about the same size. This is crazy. For next cast in. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. This is nuts. How stacked up, this one might be bigger. There's another one with him. I, there's a, there's a, there's a, look at this. There's a big smallie with him too. A smallie about the same size. I'm gonna leave him down there and see if he can get the bait in his mouth. A lot of times that's what they'll do. Yep, there's, there's an identical smallmouth right with him. I've never seen that in our creek before. That's really cool. Okay, I don't wanna mess with this fish too long. I'd like to get him in. This is about the same size. That what that was crazy. This one didn't hit it as hard. Wow, that is crazy. Beautiful. 
it's another two pounder right there beautiful wow i guess that was the right decision to put on the popper uh they're up in these riffles right now okay so let's just recap there were six pounds of smallies because the one that was falling my second one out was equally as big equally as big and i see i see a small mat down there but i think he sees me too so we're going to keep on moving it's getting ready to dump too this storm has got these smallies fired up generally those fish are in that that deepest part of the pool what this is doing is opening up their feeding window and these fish are getting aggressive with this storm coming in so they're moving up shallow and that was a perfect case in point and they were up in those skinny ripples at a time like this where i got limited time any second see none of this is appealing so i'm just going to go ahead and skip it i'm not even going to fish it so right here is another situation oh i just had one. Oh, he's after it. okay so right here is another situation just like the one we just had it's at the beginning of creek where, where current's flowing through and it's a little bit deeper there's one right there there's one right there just like i said these fish are definitely patternable right now it ain't a bad fish yeah, that's a good one. These fish are definitely being powderable right now. They're, they're, they're favoring the beginning of the, of the pools where that water's flowing into. There he is. That's a 13 inch smallie right there. Okay, the rain's gonna start dropping any second now. I'm just trying to, to prolong this bite as long as I can, just because I know this is, this is not an everyday occurrence. This pool looks pretty darn deep, so at some point, it's gotta be holding some, oh my gosh, that was sick. That was cool. It's not even big, he hit it like a giant. He hit it like a mule. Okay, there's the rain too. As soon as I hooked that fish, it started to rain. You wanna watch out for fish like these too. These are the ones that'll get you. Especially a little smally like him, he will get you. He will get you. There he is.